What if you could make our air and ocean cleaner for the cost of a plate lunch? Jeff Krantz believes his product can do just that. Unfortunately, the State Department of Transportation turned down his offer to put these filters on state vehicles at no cost to taxpayers. But other countries are ready to start trying Jeff's patent and invention. If there's any government official watching, please reconsider his offer. It's good for our environment and our children. Uh, I actually am the owner of Seabreeze, which is a water sports company. And during a science project uh, with my children, we developed a new product to actually help the environment. What most people don't realize, uh, when their tires wear off, where does the rubber go? When the brakes wear out, they see kind of brake dust on the rim, where does all that dust go? It's heavy metals, and, and the EPA has come out and pretty much defined that this is, this is a health hazard, and if you live close to, to freeways, you're going to be exposed to these kind of pollution sources. Hi, I'm Mark Bell. You may have remembered me from a few episodes back on Career Changers. I'm a marketing guru, inventor kind of a guy. I, uh, I got involved with Street Fact back just several months ago, actually. I was introduced to it, and I, I was amazed that something so simple could make such an impact on the world, and I wanted to get involved. The filters were, were manufactured to actually be at the cycle change of uh, when you change your oil. So when you go in for an oil change, you would ask them to replace your road pollution filters. And I want to stress that point, this is a road pollution filter. It's the first of its kind, and now there are many more joining our, our, our front here to give you uh, better protection. But this is what it looks like when you initially start out. And what you come back with is obviously uh, something that you don't want to breathe and you certainly don't want in your coffee. Just recently, I attended an auto show in Detroit and I was able to meet with several of the major automobile manufacturers to introduce them to this concept. I really believe that if we could put street vac filters on the automobiles as they're manufactured, this would be a good way of introducing it uh, to, to the population. But another exciting event happened. Uh, just very recently, I came back from Manila. There was a United Nations meeting there with about 100 different delegations from countries all over the world. Everybody that I talked to, and I talked to a lot of people, they all got it the first time. I showed them a clean filter. I showed them a dirty filter. I explained a little bit about what they do. And without a doubt, every single delegate from that um, conference applauded me and said, it's so wonderful to finally see a solution. We talk about the problem, we talk about the problem, but nobody's coming up with a solution. And the fact that it's inexpensive, it's easy to manufacture, and it's got a life cycle where we make it from recycled materials, it has its use as the filter on the vehicle, and at the end, it becomes a fuel in a H-power type plant where we can create free electricity. It's such a simple solution to a global problem. Our strategy uh, is to actually go to the uh, legislation to get pilot projects started so that the DOTs can become familiar with a road pollution filter. That way, regardless of what type of program that they have, they can actually fit this within the parameters of, of their scope. Um, you know, obviously legislation is a tough process. Uh, we, we commend the legislators for actually introducing bills, uh, but we're extremely disappointed, and I'll point out extremely disappointed with DOT. Uh, currently, we had a bill that was alive. Uh, all the funding was in place. Uh, it, it was for the betterment of Hawaii's people, and the bill was opposed by DOT. I was able to meet with several different countries who have committed to go forth with this system that was going to be able to keep our oceans clean, our reefs healthy, our people healthy. And they immediately understood that this was a solution and it's, it's a shame that we can't do it here in Hawaii, that we don't have the support that other countries have already decided they're ready and willing to go for. Uh, the public is actually going to be able to buy them uh, really soon. Um, right now we're just concluding with a couple other countries who have forged ahead and are going to mandate that these are on every vehicle. So if you want a cleaner Hawaii, go to our website, streetvac.com. You'll be able to find out about when Streetvac is available in Hawaii so that you can participate in keeping Hawaii clean.